All right, now on to the main event. Fusi Tube X Keemstar the movie. Wow. Now this is apparently where Keemstar met his 20-year-old girlfriend as well. So there's we actually think, a lot we think. There's a lot of Keemstar, lore potentially. <laughs> yeah. Uh, stemming from Now I want to say something right off the bat cuz I know Keemstar is going to be writing an email to YouTube to get this Every time I mention Keemstar, I mysteriously get a manual review that says, inciting hate hmm. huh? against an individual. <laughs> I'm like, that's so weird. I never get that against um, anyone else. Never. And it always happens after the fact, by like three days. Weird. So I want to say I'm not here to incite hate. This is criticism of Keemstar. Okay. And Fousey Tube. The criticism, we will see. But do not incite hate. Maybe do, you'll like it even. I, mean, I do. Yeah, I'm a fan of their work. Their yeah. boxing stuff that they do is super cool. Yeah. And and Keemstar is really talented with his boxing commentary. Really. Why good. are you so cute when you talk shit? I'm not talking <laughs> shit. I'm actually saying nice things about you. <laughs> oh my god. Real quick, Ian, show the cat. Everybody, nobody's gonna settle down until you show the fucking cat. The, the chat is nothing. Go ahead. We got, we're got we on schedule. Is that Fika cat? That is yeah, Fika cat. cat, yeah. The cat looks really big. Is that a big cat? She's just fluffy. No, she's pretty small, but she's really fluffy. You're very fluffy. Her name's Penny. She's very cute. She's very cute. Adorable. Thank you. Thank you. I'll let her know. You hear that? All right. Thank you, everyone. And you're welcome, chat. Ethan, what you doing? I was just when you're, talking to Ela. We're interested in the cat. <laughs> well, I would, there's a cat thing going on. I had to say something to Ela. Anyway, uh, so I just want to make clear: this is not hate. Do not send hate to Keemstar or Fusi. This is commentary and criticism. We will be very measured in our response. We'll be very respectful as well. Right, everyone? Oh, absolutely. And again, this might. This might make you change your mind about them. So this is Fousey and Keemstar, the movie. The pairing of these two is just endlessly bizarre because, you know, Keemstar tried to ruin Fousey's life for many, many years to the point where Fousey even said on video during his breakdown at his uh, iconic Drake concert at the uh, uh, Greek that never happened. Oh, my God. Uh, that he almost, uh, he wanted to unalive himself because of, of what Keemstar did. And he wouldn't be the first one, actually. Weirdly. And Fuse, I mean, and then uh, Keem later put that on a t-shirt. He did? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. I believe so. Well, let's see if I can find it. Well, let's confirm that. That's pretty wild. If so. Oh, that makes me want to puke. <laughs> did he Which really? is kind of true. Well, we'll fact check that. Okay. But I mean, I, I feel bad for Fusi. I see Fusi as the victim here. He's desperate for relevancy. He's, de he's also desperate for Keemstar to like like him in the way that he wish he would just leave him alone because he has tormented him for so long like he did me that when, if you can befriend Keemstar then the onslaught stops and I think he's just he needs that reprieve right and I think that's what a lot of people do when it comes to Keemstar is they they just submit because being enemies with Keemstar is uh, not something a lot of people want to get uh, involved they in want to deal and, with it. And understandably so so, that being said, this is the Keemstar Fousey movie. Let's hit it. <laughs> wow, that's badass. <laughs> right out the gate. <laughs> what is, who's that, Batman? <laughs> wait, let me go back. <laughs> oh, is that Batman? Okay, wait, I need to figure out a way to go back and not move so much. Yo, the arrow keys. Use the arrow keys to navigate. Right, but that's just like one frame. No, no, no. Like left, right. That's like one frame, the arrow keys. And then there's J and L, but it goes back maybe too much, but it's okay. The arrow keys. For oh, me, did you guys find the t shirt? Skip back and forth like five seconds at a time. You guys I'm still looking. I'm seeing some people say that it was 
whenever Fousey went on No Jumper and like he lost his mind on that podcast, it was that that Keemstar had on his shirt, which I believe was shortly after. It was part of uh, the, the well. Let's episode. well let's find the shirt. You know that's that's yeah. important. Yo, yo, is that Batman? Crazy. Yo, the ATVs. Yo, these guys are so freaking cool. <laughs> ATVs, little scooters with big wheels. I'm in. Mudding it up. Just a couple, just a couple boys getting muddy together. That's right. That's right, brother. Let's mud it up. Dude. There's so much to look forward to in this film. <laughs> oh no, he got stuck in the mud. Yo! Oh my god. Oh my god, we're in Keemstar's house. Wait, is this really his house? Is this a really interesting perspective? <laughs> Wait, that's his front door? It doesn't look that, like, sturdy, does so, it? So, no, it's not. It's the door to the garage. Um, okay. I'm, there's, there's a little something about the front door, actually, that I will point out to you later. But, uh, but okay, yeah, for so now, that, that's, that's the just the garage. Because, yeah. like, that looks, like, pretty flimsy, but it makes sense if it's a garage. Yeah. God, Fusi went too far on the um, veneers, didn't he? <laughs> With peace and love. The veneers are so in style right now, and I'm just really turning on it. People are taking the veneers way too far. Do you guys agree? You notice that? It's a little uncanny valley. It's like when somebody... It's white. It's a similar effect as the uh, people that get too much plastic surgery, you know? Yeah, it's just... It doesn't look real, dude. Yeah. It looks like you're wearing, like, comic teeth. Olivia, thoughts on veneers? I 100% agree. I think if you're going to get them, you should ask for them to be like coffee stand middle. Yeah. Like <laughs> middle, middle on the color scale. Right. Nobody has Why? teeth that way. Yeah. I mean, there's really good veneers that you can get that look great. Yeah, They real. don't have to be pure white like that. That's, that's it's wild to me, but it's not just the whiteness. It's the shape. It's the size. It's the whole thing. It's just out of control. Some people, you can tell they have like wicked gum disease with it. <laughs> And the gums come over the veneers. It's wild, bro. It's a whole wild scene. And he's not here! <laughs> this is his garage? No, it's in his ass. What's up, everybody? Me and my team are a little delirious right now because we just woke up literally in Keemstar's house and he's not even here. Don't believe me? Come check this He's not out. the first person to just so mysteriously this... wake up in Keemstar's house. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. This is Keemstar's Allegedly. natural habitat. He's often seen. He's, he, he's, out, he's out roaming at pasture. <laughs> a beautiful scenery. He's out uh, eating grass. You know, <laughs> grazing. he's grazing with the herd right now. <laughs> running in the wild, running through the woods, looking for the latest scoop to keep you in the loop. This is where he sits down and looks for all the drama that's going to unfold on YouTube. Oh, there's Bryce Hall and Tana Mojo making out. Got a report. Not good. <laughs> Not good stuff. But on that one, <laughs> I've never seen Bryce or Tana make out, so nobody run with that. But I want to show you guys how hospitable Keem was. When we walked into his house, this note was on the bed. He wrote that. He took his time to write that. He also took his time. What? What was that? Just his name written Was there on a, a note or something in it? Did he write something like, hey, dude, welcome? Like, why would you write a note? <laughs> Just a note. Like semi folded up. Like you remember the first paper page piece of paper you ever folded? Maybe you were like five and you're like, dang, this is hard to get right. Look how that thing's folded, man. <laughs> what the heck? Why did he do that, you guys? Is that hamburger style or hot dog style? <laughs> it's hard to tell, frankly. It's not <laughs> a good fold. Not a good fold. Keep starts watching like, seriously, they're wa they're criticizing my fold. <laughs> it is. It's remarkable. It's pretty nitpicky. Yeah, it to is. Be fair. But it is remarkable. 
It's is, a bad fold. It's a bad fold. I mean, what can, what can I say? I say? Yeah. The man can't fold a piece of paper. I think it's worth noting. <laughs> Oh. He wrote that. He took his time to write that. How he hospitable. He took his time to write this. Do not use the shower. But he bought me and Sven a whole outfit, brand new, to go ATV riding today. I'm going deer hunting or something. He even got me boots. But the nicest thing, also to Fusi. Don't be jealous, Sven. He gave me the face for a comedy collab. That was like really appreciated. He did not have to do that. I brought him a present too. He wanted something for his bar collection. Now before he gets Let's here, let's sneak down to his bar and show you guys what he's working with. Come down here, beer garden. This way, welcome <laughs> to Keen's bar. Okay, okay. We ain't gonna touch any of that alcohol, but okay. He got a pinball machine, he got a video game machine, he got a jukebox, he got a pool table. You know what's crazy? Is he doing like a cribs? I think he's trying to do like a cribs. Yeah. <sighs> we love the Keen bar, don't we, folks? So cool. I mean, if you're trying to impress a 20 year old, it's a good place to take them. Yeah. I'll tell you what. All the coolest uh, clubs and bars have uh, have a VR uh, racing car simulator. I'll tell you in what. Corner. Down in Keemstar's bar, they don't check ID. <laughs> you better believe it, um, baby. Well, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this isn't his main home. This is sort of his uh, fun house, if you will. Ooh. His other house has the pool in the backyard, and it's more of his living uh, area. This is the party house. This is the fuck what bad. a playa, dude. Yeah. Too bad the showers don't work in it. <laughs> Fuji, do not use this shower. There's a trough in the back for you to to wash <laughs> off in. Freeze well, water. No, that, he, he says not to use the shower because that's always where he films his videos. So he's got a full... Uh, <laughs> that's true. Of, he does. <laughs> He films all of his hate. I got, I got it set up just right for audio, <laughs> please. Yeah, exactly. That's where he films all of his hate videos in the bathroom. <laughs> that makes Ethan is a freaking hypocrite. <laughs> Fusi, keep it down. Don't talk, Fusi. About all this, today is July 12th. July 12th, three years ago, I was with Kim as well, but he was creating a documentary on me going crazy, unfolding what was happening during July 15th. The fact that three years later, life brought us back together, and now I am staying over his house, ready to make a giant announcement to work the next boxing event with him. Life is crazy, that's all I can say. Kim, I really appreciate it. We're about to have a lot of fun. Can't wait for you to be here in three, two, one. <laughs> Watch this. We heard the garage, so five, four. <laughs> Bro, you could have cut that. Do we need? How many count? No, dude. That's why you edit your video. <laughs> you don't need two <laughs> countdowns. You seem to miss the point of the editing experience. We don't need every take you did. Three, two, one, zero. Guess what? I got a gift. <laughs> I went to the butcher, got some real maple syrup. We got the Italian cheese, the smoked cheese, cheese pepper stick. We got real jerky. And that's pretty much it. But yeah, mm. I hooked it up. So yeah. What the hell kind of <laughs> meal is he planning? <laughs> I got a gift for you: a jug of maple syrup, boy. And some beef jerky. <laughs> some more beef. And some more. And I got some <laughs> beef jerky, boy. We eating good tonight? Mm -mm. I ain't got time to cook. I just eat beef jerky and maple syrup. Down here in Buffalo, New York. You know, he said, oh, we went to the butcher and you expect he like, got like steak. Some fillets. <laughs> nope. Just, like some I... jerky, some more jerky. <laughs> <laughs> like them smoked meats, boy. <laughs> yo, I got, he's like, yo, I went to the butcher and hooked us up for dinner. I got some beautiful T-bones. <laughs> no, I got us some beef jerky for dinner, bro. Like four different times, though. <laughs> I'd be like, sick, what's for dinner? Cool, beef jerky. <laughs> yeah, guys.
guys, like I said, we're at Keemstar's house. Thanks for having us. Oh, uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. We're going <laughs> ATV and we're gonna go mini bike riding. No you way. You see the bar yet? He did go down. <laughs> Dude, that's all he does. Dude, did you see the bar? <laughs> yes, we saw the bar already. We've seen it like a hundred times, but okay, let's go back to the bar again. Could have cut this. We already saw the bar for Or you could have cut the one before. Yeah. <laughs> we put a lot of work into this place. Dude, so, so, so cut the first part. <laughs> we don't need two tours of the bar, Fusi. So this is the bar. We, so here it is. <laughs> you, he's doing the same thing you just did. We have the black light underneath and we got the glow in the dark ball. Are you good? I'm okay. I'm not. Roll too. It's like here's the pool table again. <laughs> Yo, maybe they maybe a, a third friend comes over. We could get a third tour of the bar of the bar area. Closer look, please. Yeah. Really good. Are you good? I'll take the. I got an early 1980s jukebox here that plays the real records. And then of course I got my racing simulator. We'll have to yep. go on that. Digital pool ball. Like a hundred different boards you can play. Like different games. Mm-hmm. All Sh right, so show me the bar. Start. Show me the bar. And then you just pull the thing, and then oh, that is the ridiculous. Wait, it's not even real. It's not a real. Yeah, it's like a digital. Oh, okay. uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of cool. I can't. I okay. like I like pinball. Machines. Rare dub for Keemstar. Yeah. But does it play like a real machine? I wonder. Uh, I'm sure purists would tell you no, but it's. I'm sure it's fine. How would you know it's fine? How would not, you know that? Because I'm not a pinball purist. I'm not a pinball wizard. And then how can how, who are you qualified to say that it's You're fine? You're right. I'm not qualified. Take to it back. Comment. I'm so sorry. Let me make a retraction. Retract that. I do not know if that's a cool pinball machine. Thank you. See? Keemstar, your pinball machine sucks. You heard it here. <laughs> no dubs for Keemstar. <laughs> Sick. We got the bar, top shelf. Oh, he right. showed the bar. Sick. Here's a karaoke <laughs> machine. Obviously, we got the fireplace. If you follow Keem's home renovations on Twitter, you will have seen that this is... Wait, that fireplace is kind of dope, but it's not a real fire. No. I love this thing. This thing's dope. It's a digital screen, but the heat actually comes on. I feel it. No, I feel it. I feel it. It's hot. Yeah. Okay, I see big Wait, what? speakers. These are classic speakers, and then these are like relatively yeah. new. How, we, how do we bump that? Who's your favorite artist? J. Cole. Shuffling songs by J. I like J. Cole, but the fact that he's Fusi's favorite artist does say a lot. What do you think about that, Ian? Ian, thoughts? The what? <laughs> Bro, what are you doing? Are you playing video games right now? What are you doing? No, I'm sorry. I went and got a LaCroix. Bullshit. That was not a LaCroix distraction. You're doing something. I'm not doing nothing. Can, Can you, you see a screen, part? Dan? I, I can't, unfortunately. I can't bust him. I'm going to have to install screen, <laughs> screen viewers on all your computers view. because Ian did today. Okay, I'm sorry. I got a I got a message from our vet veterinarian. I have a cat appointment at three o'clock tomorrow. That's what it was. Yeah, right. You're just saying that. I'm telling you, I'll screenshot it and send it to you. I will. Well, I believe you got the message. You're just covering up playing Fortnite. And how's how was the new wordle today? Was it funny? In? I haven't played that. Come on, where are we, where are we at? What's going on here? Fusi said his favorite artist is J. Cole. How do you feel about that? I don't what's the problem with that? I like J. Cole. I just think it's funny that it, it, pe people, I don't know. Okay, no problem with it. I'm just <laughs> analyzing everything. Understand. Okay, bitch. I think it does say something about him. Okay, moving on. J. Cole on Amazon Music. Oh, uh, right. Fusi's teeth straight up glow in the black light. <laughs> look at that shit. They're like fluorescent. <laughs> When your teeth look like that, you've gone too far, man. Oh, Pride is the Devil! That's actually our favorite song. <laughs> Once we have the music pop in, let's go. Uh, I can't listen yeah, to that. that shit. Right. Whatever's playing in the bar is played out here. Man, that's a dream life, man. It reminds me of when I lived in New Jersey. I'm about to add like a huge fountain out there. Right now we got this little guy. All of the land that you can see, I'm in the process of buying. He's like, yeah, my dream is to have hookers run for their lives, and I snipe <laughs> them off the porch. <laughs> most, <laughs> most dangerous game. It's the most dangerous game. If they escape, I go to jail. If I win, they die. 
I'll give you a spoiler. <laughs> I don't lose. And don't look under this here Porsche, neither. Childhood butcher, he lives around the corner. You gotta try this. Okay, first we're gonna do, let's do with the cheese first. Spicy Italian, got a ton of flavor on it. Fussy chews like me. It's good. <laughs> yeah. All right, now this is the smoked cheese. This content is so dumb, you guys. <laughs> Yo, this. Uh, I don't even think Fussy liked it. Like he had no comment about it. I don't think he likes any of it. From Dude, what I recall. Let's do with the cheese first. Spicy Italian. Got a ton of flavor on it. He hates it. <laughs> it's good. He literally, Keemstar said it's good. <laughs> all right, now this is the smoked cheese, all right? You guys are big on cheese? Oh, I love cheese, love meat. Like normally I would get bread, cheese, and meat in one bite. Right, you'd have like an actual meal. <laughs> Not just <laughs> What I'm trying to say is I'm hungry, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's something, right? That's something. Take a bite of one of these. This yeah. is the hot cheese pepper stuck. Yep. Dude, he's worse than you. He's yeah, that's bad chewing. <laughs> that chewing needs work, man. They take it maybe from me. Maybe, is it the veneers, maybe? Maybe mix it hard? <laughs> I don't know. Like a horse with peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Ed over here. <laughs> It's good. Okay. Now, this is the best. This is just more. regular cheese more and pepper this. stick. <laughs> Try he was giving me cheese. Just close your goddamn mouth. Is this what it's like when I chew? Mm, it's not that bad. I think it's... This is worse, but we're on the same spectrum here, for sure. I chew with my mouth open during the show? <sighs> you do. You did, do. We, <laughs> did we point out that Olivia... We were talking before the show. She's pro chewing. Oh yeah, she made that declaration. We didn't have her here on Monday, yeah. but she was like, "I love the chewing. I love the eating." You like okay. hearing the sound of chewing? I don't pay attention to the sound of chewing. I like when when you eat. I feel like hmm. because I watch mukbangs and stuff like that. Hmm. Is this doing something for you, Fusi eating cheese? Um, not necessarily, hmm. but. I don't hate the sound. I don't like this sound, though. Very much. She's taking it too far. Can you pull up a clip of Mr. Ed chewing peanut butter? <laughs> we could compare and contrast. Thoughts? It tastes like beef jerky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's... It is beef jerky. That's such an interesting insight from, uh, from Fusi. <laughs> he should be a food critic. Here, taste this beef jerky. It tastes like beef jerky. So interesting that they kept this in. Let me go back and get that. It tastes like beef jerky. <laughs> Yo, can we soundbite that, Zach? Sure, I'll pull it. Yo, you guys, it tastes like beef jerky. This is the most petty, ridiculous um, episode we've ever done, by the way, just for the oh, record. We, yeah, we knew. I, I understand <laughs> that this is just an absurd episode, okay? People are saying that's literally you, Ethan. Okay, let's listen to... Well, then, who's worse? Me, Fusi, or Mr. Ed? Go ahead, Dan. Uh, here. <laughs> That's what he looks like when he's munching peanut butter? Yeah, apparently. It's all in the nose, eh? Dude. That's a talented horse right there. That's pretty gnarly. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> That's just peanut butter, right? Uh, apparently. That's yeah. how they did it. Interesting. I was hoping for some audio, but okay, it's back in the day. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a pepper stick. Um. Now, this is like real jerky. There's no way I'm that bad. Dude. There's no way. Bring me food to eat right now, and you guys can oh, compare. Oh, don't. Bring me a pop tart or something. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. It's got to be like real maple syrup. Wait, wait, wait. Don't tell me you take maple syrup by itself. For this, what I would do is rip a little piece of jerky exactly. off, dip it in. Exactly. Maple syrup that you get in the store is not real maple syrup. It's made out of corn syrup. This is real, authentic maple syrup. Don't double dip, man. I know you like double dipping. <laughs> Stop. 
What are they doing? What they, the man came for a meal and he's he's eating maple syrup with a fork off a plate. <laughs> <laughs> this is not hospit this is not hosp hosp hospitality. This is just odd behavior, dude. Oh god. Yo, hit this maple syrup with this fork, bro. <laughs> Let's eat some lunch right now. I can't even get used to it because it goes down so easy. It's like smooth. So smooth. Okay, be careful when he gets drunk because he's going to start chugging this. <laughs> <laughs> My friend's going to start chugging the maple syrup. Oh, stop. Already. Pause. Okay. Go back? No, right there. Right there is perfect. Okay. Notice, I believe, that is his front door. Okay. There's, it's blocked. Hmm. Or is that just, maybe it's just like a wallpaper or something to cover the glass. That's no. definitely a bookcase or That's something. That's like a bookcase or something. But it might, be one, it might be a flat image just for decoration. What? To cover the glass because there's like a glass door. You think it's a real no, bookcase? That's a, yeah, that's a Because then he drilled into his front door. No, it doesn't have to be drilled. It could just be, you know, stationed It's there. enough that you just can't get out. You know, right? Maybe he's afraid of like zombies coming or hmm. someone getting out. I don't know. Yeah, he came in through the garage. Right. So that looks kind of like a flat image. Like it could just be. I I I see what you're talking about. I think it's just an optical illusion from the light coming in from behind it. It's making it look flatter than it is. We saw another frame where uh, hmm. it was. Pr it it seemed more apparent that it was a book. People are saying it's a flat image, or people are saying it has depth. Huh. It's a hotly debated issue. Is Keemstar's front door barricaded? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Huh. That is interesting. What do we make of this, guys? No I mean, front either door. Way, if it's flat or not, it's blocking the, the door. The front door is blocked, yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, you the front get, door is blocked. You ain't getting out no, of no, that house. If it's a flat image, you could still open the door. He just puts it there to block the, the glass. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. Maybe you don't want people to see in because I know yeah. there's a road. Yeah, I that's kind of weird in itself. I mean, you could just replace the door, bro. You've lived there long <laughs> enough. You degenerate. You could tint the windows. There's there's a bunch you could do. I mean, yeah, it's just odd. You know, he. I think it's just one room there. I think I think he usually sleeps in the living room. I've seen. He sleeps in the living room. That's my understanding of. Just he, he probably got so used to his girlfriend making him sleep on the couch that he just stationed there. Right. So I think I think he usually sleeps in his uh, living room. I'm not sure though. So maybe it is just to block the light. Yeah. Oh. Keem told us to change because he said it's about to get a little. <laughs> Sorry, pussy, but look at the teeth. <laughs> Do you think those are two white guys? It's like. It's blinding, dude. <laughs> to get a little dirty, so look what I'm wearing, and then look at what Ben is wearing. Yo, are those are those vitamins? Are these the new Yeezy boots? That's crazy. Those are like thousand dollar Yeezys. <laughs> This gives me Roman Atwood vibes. I got that brand new track. Yo, Keem, what's this dead uh, woman doing here? <laughs> With a sniper shot in her back. Oh, don't worry about that. Let's just say she lost. <laughs> Better, and it will put you on that and make you drive it. It's, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, rule number one, guys, never let me get behind anything that drives. But if he's going to do it, he's going to do it. Is this where you chop wood in the morning? Yup, built that sack myself out of that tree. You actually did? Yeah. <laughs> I told you guys in the beginning of the video when I said this is Keem's natural habitat, I wasn't lying. <laughs> Keem, Keem, be careful when Sven's drunk, he's probably gonna try to swim in here. That's gonna be awesome. Yeah, you gotta be careful when Sven's drunk. You know what I'm surprised? Oh no, you have it at the other house. I was gonna say you don't have a swimming pool, but you do. You have one of the, you have a really nice swimming pool. We're building an indoor one here. It's gonna be underground. Dude, no freaking way. A couple of dudes. This whole thing is formatted like a an episode of The Bachelor. 
<laughs> that's <laughs> like, true. They're on a showed, date. They're on a date. He showed up. He had a new oh. out. He had a new outfit. It's like we're yeah. going on an adventure today. Totally. And then, I wonder if Fusi's gonna get the rose. Yeah. Oh, he he went by Rose at one point. Remember, he changed his name. Oh to yeah, Fusi Rose. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um. You you guys know by the way. Every time Kimstar brings a new girl back, they go ATV riding. Just move. Yeah, we got some air. <laughs> but yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing in the woods. But now let's get on the mini bike. Sick. Yeah, he's got Kimstar stickers on his mini bikes, bro. You see that? Yeah. He's got the Kimstar on the decal. Sick, so sick. Yeah, this is the movie, by the way. You guys enjoying this plot? <laughs> it's a Fusi Keemstar movie, eh? <laughs> yeah, why does he keep, keep picking on his Sven, the camera guy, making him seem like an alcoholic? <laughs> this fucking dumb drunk. Yo, this guy's gonna shit. drink. Yo, you better hide that bleach. <laughs> Sven's gonna drink that when he gets drunk later. He's so fucking dumb. <laughs> yeah. Yo. Yo, you better put the knives away. Sven gets crazy when he drinks. <laughs> uh, am I crazy or are those like really mini bikes? Are mini bikes supposed to be that small, Love? What does Love think? He's the bike, yeah. the bike guy. I mean, it looks like a uh, 90cc bike over there. Uh, they're pretty fun to drive, to be fair. But That's the right size? I mean, they're small bikes, yeah. And it's it kind of kind of weird that they're like two forty year old men, both balding, <laughs> <laughs> just driving around in their backyard. I think That's so too. Odd. It's kind of odd, but you know, to be fair, it's it's probably fun. Yeah, it know? looks fun. It I'm does sure, look fun. Sure it looks fun. fun. It looks fun. Yeah. I'd give Kim the rose if he took me on this date. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Watch out, bud. It's so small. <laughs> it's scooting around. It died on me. <laughs> it died on me. Give it a look up. Keep doing it. All right. 